problems on NPLM. State NPLM obtain the best critical region of size. Size A for testing H0 P equals to P0 against alternative hypothesis H1 P equals to P1 based on a based on a sample of size M from a binomial population with the PDF f of x comma theta equals to ncx p power x 1 minus p whole power n minus x. See the proof. Given that, given that null hypothesis h naught p equals to p naught from the problem alternate to h1 p equals to p1. So here they specified binomial population means binomial probability mass function of binomial distribution is f of x comma P of x comma p means what are the parameters n comma p p of x comma the means the probability mass function of binomial distribution is ncx p power x q power so otherwise directly you can write getting confusion we know that the probability function of binomial distribution is p of x equals to ncx p power x 1 minus p whole power n minus x already you know that we are extra in the case of binomial distribution x takes the value 0 1 2 3 so on and where n is the sample size already this is a, you discussed about the likelihood function in sem 3 so the likelihood function of x1 x2 so on generally you are taking xn but here for this problem you are taking x1 x2 so on xm will be likelihood function is denoted by l so already you know that how you are getting this the likelihood function means uh, by i running from 1 to n ncx p power x q power n minus x but i running from 1 to m means we can elaborate ncx1 p power x1 1 minus p so for x1 x2 so on xm so ncx1 ncx2 so on ncx m here you are taking the variable same so p power x1 p power x2 so on p power xm 1 minus p whole power uh, n minus x1 1 n minus x2 so on so all these are the products so you are getting here pi i running from 1 to m n c x i but here p power x1 means basis are same we can add the power so p power x1 plus x2 plus m. so in the next step we can write p power summation x i i running from 1 to m x i i running from 1 to m similarly 1 minus p so for all the basis are same we can add the powers 1 minus p whole power n minus x1 so for this also you are getting summation so this is the this is the likelihood function but according to the NPL we have we have L0 so in NPL lemma we have L0 and L1 L0 is the under H0 L0 is the likelihood function under H0 L1 is the likelihood function under H1 so that's why in the place of uh, in the place of uh, in the place of uh, P you are writing P0 in the place of P you are writing P1 so just by observing here so NC XI both are same but here P in the place of p you are taking p naught under h naught p1 and under h1 so then l1 by l naught equals to pi i run 1 to m nc xi so substitute l naught l1 values but the um, pi i run from nc xi pi i run nc xi both are gets cancelled the left over terms are p1 whole power summation xi we are missing summation xi p naught summation xi 1 minus p whole power um, p1 summation n minus x i summation n minus x i so i am writing here p1 by p naught whole power summation x i 1 minus p1 by 1 minus p naught whole power summation of n minus x i according to np lemma the best critical region for k greater than 0 for k greater than 0 is l1 by l naught is greater than or equals to k that implies so whatever l1 by l naught you are writing and which is greater than or equals to k now next is applying log on both sides applying log so log into so you can get log of log of p1 by p0 so it's a into b otherwise i'm writing here what is the function p1 by p0 summation x i 1 minus p 1 by 1 minus p naught whole power summation n minus x i 
so taking log which is greater than or equal to taking log on both sides that implies log log p1 by p0 whole power summation xi into 1 minus p1 by 1 minus p0 whole power summation n minus xi which is greater than or equal to log ok the next log a into b log a plus log 2 so that implies log p1 by p0 whole power summation xi plus log 1 minus p1 by 1 minus p0 whole power summation n minus x a which is greater than or equals to log k. The next step log a power b. So b log a summation x i into log p1 by p0 plus summation n minus x i into log 1 minus p1 by 1 minus p0 which is greater than or equals to log k. So but here directly we are writing summation xi into summation xi into log p1 by p0 plus summation n minus xi into log 1 minus p1 by p0. If you are unable to understand these two steps you can copy down you can copy down this in your notebook. Then applying summation wherever summation exists in that place you are writing i running from 1 to m so that's why you are taking m suppose if it is n you are taking n into x but here you are taking m so m into x i log p1 by p0 plus m into n minus x i log 1 whatever the function is we are writing as it is which is greater than or equals to log k so m x i the next step m into n m n minus m into x i in the next step m x i m x i terms we are writing so m x i log p1 by p0 m n minus mxi this so we are taking mxi terms in one set so you are taking mxi common log p1 by p0 minus here you are having minus so that's why you are getting minus log 1 minus p1 by 1 minus p0 which is greater than this positive term take that side becomes negative so but left side right side we are having log k so log k minus log 1 minus we become reciprocal so log 1 minus p0 by 1 minus p1 whole power mn so, but in the place of x i, you are taking x bar. So, m into x bar log p1 by p0 minus as it is you are writing, which is greater than or equals to log a minus log b. That's why you are writing log k into log a into b. So, log a into b. So, so log oh, 1 minus p0 by p1 whole power mn. So which is x greater than or equals to here you are taking x bar x bar and take this term in the denominator log k into 1 minus p0 by 1 minus p1 whole power mn into So this m this term into the denominator case one consider case one that is if p one greater than p the first critical region in this case can be determined using following relation. So that is p one greater than p naught that is x bar greater than log okay, whatever is that this is the p one by p naught. So let uh, let log k so this entire term log k one minus p naught this entire term we are assuming that resume that lambda 1 then we get x bar greater than or equals to this you have to write here x bar greater than or equals to so x bar greater than this entire term you are taking as lambda 1 x bar greater than or equals to therefore the best critical decision will be w equals to x such that x bar greater than lambda 1 consider case 2 that is p so here taking p1 greater than p0 here taking p1 less than p0 the best critical decision is determined using x bar is less than here x bar is greater than or equal here you are taking x bar is less than log k 1 minus p0 by so whatever you are having is nothing but lambda so x bar is x bar is less than lambda 1 therefore the best critical decision of case 2 is w1 equals to x such that x bar less than or equals to lambda 1 so this is the already you, you are preparing uh, definitions of uh, null hypothesis uh, along with that a statement and uh, state and proof of np lemma in case if you are getting any 
internal choice if you want to get both the problems then you can learn these problems also so i am sending that i am sending uh, this this one this is the exponential distribution so i will send to you a you can copy down this problem also in your notebooks i'll send the pic to you okay